The Kanban module was created by E2B Technologies to provide an additional inventory management tool for manufacturing and distribution companies using Mass 500. Kanban is a lean manufacturing concept that originated from Japanese manufacturer Toyota. Kanban systems utilize a physical card to signal a replenishment request. Most companies deploy a two-bin Kanban system where the quantity of product in each bin is the same. The concept is that once the first bin is empty, the Kanban card will signal a replenishment request and the bins will be sized so that by the time the empty bin is replenished, the second bin will be nearly empty. This worked well in Japan because suppliers were close to manufacturing facilities. So the faster the delivery time, the better Kanban replenishment will work. The goal of Kanban is to reduce on-hand inventory and carrying costs and to minimize stockouts for distributed items or raw materials. Blanket purchase order functionality within Mass 500 is used to fulfill the bin replenishment request within the Kanban process. Replenishment is accomplished using both the E2B Enhanced MRP module and the E2B Kanban module. Mass 500 inventory usage history drives the calculation of Kanban replenishment parameters. Kanban was created using the Mass 500 toolset and is integrated with Mass 500 Security, Mass 500 Inventory Management, Mass 500 Inventory Replenishment, Mass 500 Purchase Orders, and the E2B Technologies Enhanced MRP module. The Maintain Kanban data screen is located under Inventory Management Maintenance on the Task menu and must be created for all items. Some fields on the screen are for data entry, and some fields are populated when Update Kanban Data is selected. First, let's cover the entry fields. First, enter a warehouse and an item. Then, enter frequency of delivery, which represents the expected deliveries per month and is used in calculations for bin sizing. Bin size is the user-defined bin size used by the Kanban system to determine when to reorder. Classification represents a reorder classification which will signify which reorder method will be used. A items are high volume and low variation items which are shipped in predetermined delivery quantities not requiring Kanban cards or PO triggers. B items are medium volume and low variation items which are shipped in predetermined quantities triggered by the pulling of Kanban cards when the first bin is empty. C items are low volume and high variation items whose order placement and delivery is driven by MRP. D items are obsolete items. F items are fasteners or miscellaneous items that are replenished through manual or other methods. The blanket PO in line is used by approved replenishment request to release a purchase order for the actual bin size defined for the inventory item. The number of bins represents the number of bins used for this item in the Kanban system. Bin factor represents a usage planning factor to be applied when calculating the bin usage as a fudge factor to protect the bins from being completely depleted. Bin ID represents the bin the item is stored in. When Update Kanban Data is selected, all of the other fields are populated. Now let's cover the fields that were populated by the Kanban Data Update. Monthly Average represents the average of all usage per month for the prior 12-month period. Quantity available represents the current on-hand quantity available for the item warehouse combination. Balance on blanket represents the balance quantity of the blanket purchase order linked to the Kanban item. Current release quantity represents the quantity of the item on open purchase order releases. The current release date represents when the current PO release is due in. Bin size 
is generated based on the average monthly usage divided by the frequency of delivery times the usage planning factor. Supermarket quantity represents the maximum quantity of an item that could be on hand at any given time. This is calculated based on the number of bins times the actual bin size. Steady state quantity represents the projected average quantity on hand for the inventory item. It is calculated by multiplying the actual bin size times 1.5. CV is a coefficient of variation statistical value which is calculated for inventory transactions to determine the consistency of the quantity used for each item. CV values are used to determine the ABCD value of the item. Lead time defaults from the maintain inventory record. Supplier defaults from the blanket purchase order. Mass 500 monthly usage history is displayed for the prior 12 months. The usage includes sales order issues, work order issues, and warehouse transfer out transactions. Monthly inventory adjustments are also displayed. A SQL job has also been created that will optionally update Kanban data for items set up for Kanban replenishment. This will allow users to automate the update data periodically since the rolling 12-month history used for calculations may change over time. The SQL job may be scheduled to run at any interval. Purchasing personnel can then run reports to identify items that should be reclassified or where bin sizes should be adjusted. Now let's move on to Kanban processing. The bin replenishment request screen is located under Inventory Management, Activities, Replenish Inventory on the task menu. Kanban cards can be scanned or manually entered to request a release from a predefined blanket purchase order. The Auto Entry Mode checkbox facilitates rapid entry of scanned barcode Kanban cards by automatically clearing the screen and returning the focus to the item field for each subsequent scan. Now that the replenishment requests have been created, let's look at the PO release function. Generate Kanban PO release is located under the bin replenishment request on the task menu. First, enter a buyer. Now the buyer in the inventory setup warehouse replenishment screen defines the buyer for the maintain inventory item definition which is used in Kanban. Enter the warehouse. The PO date will default to the current date but can be changed. Select copy to all to update PO dates in the grid if this date is changed. All bin replenishment requests will appear in the grid below. Use the select and deselect buttons to check the items for processing. In this example, the item used the current date as the purchase order date and applied the lead time defined in the Maintain Inventory screen to create the request date. Now, Use of this screen provides an approval process for replenishment requests through security definitions. Select Proceed to create the Kanban purchase orders. The grid will be updated with the purchase order information. Here's the new PO number and release number and the status is complete. Now let's look at MRP processing for non-Kanban controlled items. I've set the select reorder classification field as not equal to B which are the Kanban tracked items. I've also unchecked include lower level BOM on the options tab. 
In this example, the Kanban item Paint Black is not imported into the MRP version because it has been defined with a Kanban reorder classification of B. This allows you to define which items should be replenished using Kanban and which items should be replenished using MRP. Keep this functionality in mind when you're defining the classification ABCD field in the Maintain Kanban data screen. All items, finished goods, and raw materials must be defined in the Maintain Kanban data screen even though they will not be Kanban planned items for this functionality to work.